So let's say, for example, we're going to have one charge. Let's say this one is two. We're going to say micro coulombs. So this is a very common prefix that you'll see for these types of problems. Micro is, anyone know how much micro is? It's not 1,000. It's not 100. That's no. centi. It's one millionth. Yeah, one millionth. So the way you'd write that is 2 times 10 to the negative 6. So 1 micro is equal to 10 to the negative 6. This looks like mu. You guys remember mu? That's what this symbol is. It's the same symbol as the friction. Yeah. OK, so let's say this is a positive charge here. Let's say this one is 4. So we'll say this is a negative this time. We'll say this is 4 microcoulombs. Let's have one more. Let's say this is 6. We'll make this one positive. Let's put these 3 centimeters away. And these two 3 centimeters away. Right, so three charges. When you look at Coulomb's equation, how many uh, charges do you see? How many Qs? Two. two, right? There's only two Qs. So when you have three, you can't do three all at once. You can only do two at a time. So you're only going to do Coulomb's law with two charges at a time. So how you're going to approach this is you're basically, you're just going to ignore one of the charges. And you're just going to look at two charges at a time. So for example, so oh, let me ask the question. What is the force? All right, net force on the two microcoulomb charge. We're looking for the force on the two microcoulomb charge. All right, so we're just going to take things two at a time. We're going to just ignore the six for now and just look at the two and the negative four. So what is the negative four going to do to the positive two? It's going to attract it, right? Mm -hmm. Opposites attract, so the negative four is going to attract the positive two. So there's going to be a force in this direction. attracting it this way. So I'm going to call this, let's call this F42. So this is the notation I typically use. This will be the force from charge 4 on charge 2, F42. Okay, and then let's just calculate that force. So F42. So this should be pretty easy because you're just going to use your equation, right? we just learned and it's just simply between these two forces so we're going to use K we'll go Q2 Q4 divided by D squared Now I've already given you the charge here, so you don't have to like multiply by a charge on an electron. I've already told you the the charge. So this is two times ten to the negative six. And this is going to be four micro, so this is four times ten to the negative six. Now what was mentioned earlier is this: do not plug in the negatives here. Don't plug in a negative here. Just always plug in positives. Okay? Whether they tell you it's negative or positive, plug in positives. And I'll show you why in a second when we finish this. Okay, what's the distance between them? Three centimeters. Don't forget to convert that, so it's going to be 0 0.03. Two biggest mistakes for getting to convert, number one, for getting to square, number two. So don't forget to square that distance. So 
Someone got the answer for me? 80. 80? Is that being confirmed? Yes. Can we this also be on the negative charge to as well? Yeah, and hold on, hold on that question one second. So this is 2 and this is 4. This gives us our 80 newtons, right? Now notice here, let's go back to why we plug in positives. If I would have plugged in a negative here, what would my answer be? Negative 80. And usually when we say negative force, what direction are we talking about? To the left, right? To the west. However, when you look at this picture, what direction is the force? To the right, because it's being attracted. So my recommendation is never plug in negatives, just always plug in positives and then look at the direction. Use your concept of opposites attract or likes repel to find the direction. So this would be positive 80 and you could also write east if you want to clarify it. Okay? Alright, so let's go back to Matt's question. Who pulls with more force? The two, because the two and the four are attracted to each other. Who's more attracted? The two to the four or the four to the two? Two to the four? Okay. The answer is they're equally attracted. They're the same, right? Why are the forces the same? Okay, remember Newton's third law? Forces are always equal and opposite. So this is attracting the four with an equal force that the four is attracting the two. They're equal and opposite to each other. And you can also do look at the math. Does it matter if I, what if I flip Q2 and Q4? The number is going to be the same, right? So it doesn't matter. So yeah, the forces would be equal. Okay, let's do the last part. So that's what we do for the first part. And then what we're going to do is say, all right, let's ignore charge four. So if I cover up charge four and I just look at charge two and charge six, what is charge six going to do to charge two? It. It's going to repel it. So charge 6 is going to repel charge 2. So there's going to be a second force going this way, and I'll call this F62. It's a second force going this direction. So the 4 is attracting the 2, the 6 is repelling the 2. And then what am I going to do at the end? How am I going to find the net force? Okay, add or subtract. In this case, since they're in opposite directions, you'll subtract them. All right, why don't you guys go ahead and get ahead of me. So find F62. I'll just quietly do it up here, but try to do it on your own if you can. What's the distance between 2 and 6? Six? 6 centimeters, yeah. So make sure you notice that. Don't just blindly plug in the 3. Someone help me out with the answer? 30. 30? That's nice. Good, so yeah, look at this problem. What direction is F62? Okay, left, right, or to the west. And so we're going to make go ahead and make that negative here. So again, just plug in positives in your values and then conceptualize the direction. Is it attracting? Is it repelling? That'll tell me the direction. Alright, so therefore what's the net force? We got 
80 newtons going this way. We have 30 newtons going this way. We're going to subtract them from each other. What's the net force? 50 newtons in what direction? East or right. Okay, so if these charges were allowed to move, what would the two do? Go to the right. Yeah, it would go to the right.